According to the Center for Disease Control, 129 people will die today from a drug overdose. These chairs represent those 129 lives lost. These are photographs of some of those lives lost. 23-year-old Austin Boyles overdosed in June of 2016 on heroin laced with fentanyl. His grieving father launched Austin's Hope, a not-for-profit organization dedicated to helping addicts and their families. He says it is a mission from God. And he just laid it on my heart to start Austin's Hope. Because although Austin struggled and all Austin had an addiction, he was way more than that. So this is your mission? This is my mission. This is a rally he staged last year. This year, there will be the reading of the names of fatal overdose victims, training on how to administer naloxone, the drug used to reverse overdoses, and talks from former addicts. Shane Crow is a former meth addict who is seven years sober. He lost his brother, 25-year-old Justin, to an overdose. He stands with Boyles and with Austin's Hope. That pain started a fire inside of me and that fire is not gonna go out until these addictions and these, all these numbers go down. And I just wanna be able to, you know, speak, you know, for my brother and everyone else that is going through this. Every overdose is someone's child. Boyles has started an Austin's Hope support group for addicts and their family members. They will meet for the first time September 19th here in Galveston. Derek Thomas. RTV6.